4-2 win over Hibs here make just the one change. Derek Anderson is ill and Kevin McGowan comes in. Motherwell boss Alec McLeish sends out this side hoping to end a run which has seen his club pick up just one point out of the last 15. Paul White is in fine form at present and will be a big threat to Motherwell. His goal against Hibs is still the talk of the town. And Tommy Coyne will be hoping his injury problems are behind him and that his partnership with Dougie Arnott will get Motherwell out of trouble in the weeks ahead. The referee is Andrew Waddle from Edinburgh. Well, in the last meeting of the clubs here in March, Motherwell won a vital match 1-0 in their fight against relegation. Paul Lambert, now with Borussia Dortmund, got the goal with a penalty. It's another vital day for Motherwell. Uh, they're joint second bottom with Kilmarnock and have played a game more. And obviously, it's a very important day for the home side also. But uh, both managers are quite confident that uh, their sides will be clear of these problems uh, come next May. Coins well forward, but uh, the cover is there for uh, Kilmarnock through Kevin McGowan. Sean McSkimming playing against his old club uh, this afternoon. Here he is again. He won that uh, initial challenge. It's Jamie Dolan. Well, no real test there for Colin Meldrum from uh, Jamie Dolan's shot. Played through by Philibin. There's no flag. A real chance on here for Motherwell. It's Andy Roddy sending it in. Tommy Coyne. Motherwell take the lead. Eight minutes gone here at Rugby Park. The perfect start for Alec McLeish's man. Tommy Coyne. Finishes it off. The long ball was played through by Philibin. Kilmarnock defenders were looking for a flag, it didn't go up, Andy Roddy come through, had a little look up here and sent in the perfect ball for Tommy Coyne, and he doesn't miss those. Kilmarnock nil, Motherwell one. It's McCart in the head of uh, Brown, still a bit of work to be done here by the Motherwell defence. chance on for them there and they've got to settle up for the corner kick the moral defence were never comfortable here couldn't get it away properly and the ball was played right across the face of goal but uh, no takers and uh, Motherwell managed to scramble it away comes for a free kick by the Kilmarnock fans and uh, the assistant referee has signalled to Andrew Waddle. Free kick is awarded now to Kilmarnock, just in line with the penalty area. Kilmarnock now turning the screw a bit. That's a dangerous ball. Off the top of the bar from Tom Brown, who is so good in the air for such a little fellow. So unlucky here. There's a great ball causing the defence and the goalkeeper all kinds of problems. How often do you see Tom Brown managing to spring up like this, make a good contact? Played off by Brown. An effort from John Henry, going wide of target, but again, Kilmarnock applying some pressure, glancing header, wide of goal. Now it's Gus McPherson. Touch from McIntyre. Well, uh, <laughs> referee just got out of the way in time. It's another slight ball though. It's given away by Meldrum to Andy Roddy who laid on that opening goal. The offside flag has gone up. It was Tommy Coyne on the far side. Again, it was a bit of slackness that uh, gave possession to Motherwell. Poor clearance by Meldrum to Roddy, but the flag had gone up by this stage. I just wonder if the uh, main stand 
assistant referee and was going to be under a bit of pressure now for the remainder of this game. Yeah, it's aimed in towards uh, Brown. It's uh, way by McSkinning. This is right for Kilmarnock. Almost a good ball, trying to knock it inside Ryan Martin. And it's a free kick against McSkimming. No doubt about that one. It's another chance for Kilmarnock to get themselves on level terms. Well, that ball deflected. And uh, Scott Howie had to keep a close watch on it. It was sent in there by Dylan Kerr. It was an awkward one. It's Kerr with the throw. Here's again. The Monarch's ball. Had a hurry to get on with things. It's laid off by Finlay. And by McIntyre, but uh, once again it's given away to Andy Roddy, the man who laid on Motherwell's goal. And they're pouring players forward here on Motherwell. Sean McSkimming's away down the left-hand side. Here he is, good running by him. McSkimming sends it in! <laughs> Terrific such forward there by Motherwell. And it really was... Good saving tackle the other end. McGowan, I think, getting in there with Coyne. Splendid play that really was. The ball given away initially, but uh, Roddy pushed forward, held the ball up, waited for McSkimming to go on his run, sent through the perfect ball. He played it into the far post, and McGowan was there for Colmanet, just ahead of Tommy Coyne. Way by McPherson, touch from Henry, in steps Martin from Motherwell. Arnott's away ahead of him, good running by Dougie Arnott! And a good save by Colin Meldrum, excellent running that by Dougie Arnott as Brian Martin surfs forward, Arnott began his run. Martin slid it through to him, but uh, Colin Meldrum came to beat him. Good blocking save. He played a minute of stoppage time, this is McKee for Kilmarnock. And by McPherson, oh, a high boot there. So the referee's allowing play to go on. It's uh, Jimmy Dolan who's on the ground. He's taken a knock to the head. I think he was caught uh, by the boot of Tom Brown. The referee really should stop the match here. He's having another look over at the Marvel player who's still on the ground. Still play continues. And there's a chance on for Marvel. The whistle's gone. Well, the Motherwell players uh, now are angry with the referee. He allowed Kilmarnock to play on there for quite a while. Then the ball broke for Tommy Coyne, and as he was running through in goal, the whistle sounded, and uh, the Motherwell players are reacting angrily. I really cannot understand why Andrew Waddle allowed play to go on so long. Referees have clear instructions. If there is a head knock at all, they must stop the game. And then the minute Motherwell had an advantage, he halted the play. A moment of real controversy here at uh, Rugby Park. Certainly, he was caught by the Kilmarnock player's boot. His head went uh, down low, there's no doubt about that. But the minute the contact was made, the referee really should have stepped in and stopped things. And uh, much of the anger of Mullable is when the advantage was going their way. The whistle sounded. The referee checks his watch now. The ball is played back to Scott Howey. But uh, this will certainly be a talking point over the weekend. It's uh, Dolan challenging. The whistle sounds after five minutes of stoppage time. There's a man who made all the difference after eight minutes of the game. And it was a long ball played from Philibin on the right-hand side, out to Roddy on the left. He surged forward, played it in towards Coyne, who finished off in style. At Rugby Park, it's Kilmarnock 0, Mullerwell 1. Well, number 15 there, Alec Burns has come on for Dougie Arnott in the Mullerwell side. 
remember that uh, Harlett took a hefty knock in that uh, first half. It's Alec Burns signed uh, five years ago from Shots One Accord. Player who can play it through the middle or in the wide positions. Will be a fresh threat to this Kilmarnock defence. And uh, during the long absences of uh, Tommy Coyne over the last couple of years, uh, he's come in and uh, made his contribution to the Marble cause. This is Dylan Kerr. hard this afternoon they know what's at stake and uh, with Kilmarnock having a game in hand over them we've got to leave here with four points and uh, here's Alec Burns it's Tommy Coyne and Roddy goes in a run takes the defender with him it's deflected Coyne's effort deflected Meldrum at full stretch and the ball going just beyond goal you can see the decoy run there from Roddy and the ball deflected off the Montgomery and not far away in the end well Motherwell made a good start to the first half it was almost a very good start to the second half for them Davis plays it through, it spins in the air. Well, claims that that's a pass back. And the referee is actually giving it. This will be an indirect free kick. Just six yards from goal. The defender was under a lot of pressure. Well, I saw something like this a couple of years ago at Fur Park. In the match between Motherwell and Harps, if memory serves me correctly. There was a lot of controversy about that. This will be an indirect free kick. The entire Kilmarnock wall will have to retreat to the goal line. So more drama here. The referee interpreted that as a defender trying to get the ball back to his goalkeeper. A golden opportunity for Motherwell. And they've taken it! Tries to find a way through. Oh. Well, Kilmarnock pushing forward now. Claims there for use of a hand. away to the far side it was claims there the ball come off the defender's arm and then good finish there by Paul Wright teed up by John Henry the referee has uh, called back the play there was advantage there to Kilmarna McIntyre had the ball here he is again well the chance is on for McIntyre now he's claiming that uh, Martin got a touch to that as he lined up for the shot. Good play by him here. Opening up the opportunity. Down for Kilmarnock. 
He digs in well there. This is Kerr. Oh, that's given away to Tommy Coyne. Here's Coyne again. Good play by Motherwell. Great goal. Superb goal by Motherwell and Tommy Coyne. Kilmarnock 1, Motherwell 3. 58 minutes gone. That was superb play as Motherwell broke forward. Billy Davis linking so well with Tommy Coyne. And a great finish. Coyne gets his second goal of the match it's Motherwell's third a lovely ball through there by Billy Davis it was Coyne who gave the ball to Davis in the first place he kept his run going took the return from the midfielder and slammed it away superb piece of play certainly Motherwell over the piece have been the better side Motherwell making a change and uh, Davis who helped set up that goal goes off and on comes a new man Johnny Lettman the Finnish midfielder who's uh, with Motherwell in trial sturdy midfield player according to Alex McLeish and here's the first touch from him well that might have been the perfect debut running on to the ball but uh, well wide. So Bum's giving chase. And again, Kerr's in trouble. Sintard's coin. And Kermonic scrambled away through Gus McPherson. But uh, Alec Burns did ever so well there, pressuring the fullback, getting away from him despite his attentions it fell just beyond uh, Tommy Coyne and uh, McPherson was there to send it behind for the corner to Motherwell well it almost deceived everyone it was Eddie May who fired it in Lettinen's there, the Motherwell substitute. It's Burns again. Here's Dolan. Lettinen. Burns. And so unlucky from uh, Tommy Coyne. Almost getting the hat trick. So Lettinen found Burns. The early ball from him. And the touch from Tommy Coyne. And inches away in the end. Denied his hat trick. Right, right, plays it through now. Picked up by Brown. Well, not a bad effort. Right at the keeper. But, uh, they cut in here. Get a bit of power into the shot, but uh, never really worried Scott Howitt. Motherwell just sitting in, waiting to hit on the break. And you can see how far back Paul Wright is having to come for possession. And he's fouled yet again. Free kick. McIntyre's in a hurry to get on with things. This is good play by McIntyre. And he just tried to clip it over Scott Howey. The Marek player did extremely well. The free kick was quickly taken. He was bearing in in goal. He could have had a a real pot there, but he tried to clip it over the goalkeeper. This is Kerr. Right's in there, battling down he goes, that's a penalty. Paul Wright fouled inside the area. Andrew Waddle points towards the spot. There are four minutes left. There might be a grandstand finish yet. So 
it will be Paul Wright himself to take this one he already got his side back into the game with his earlier goal oh, if he can put this one away Motherwell might still have a bit of work to do it's Paul Wright come on at two Motherwell three about three minutes left he throws the ball into the back of the net so some anxious moments coming up for Alec McLeish and Andy Watson Motherwell giving the ball away again this time and uh, Lee McCullough Away possession. Played by Fullerton. Play goes on. A bit of a tussle there involving Tommy Coyne and uh, McGann. Well, Andy Roddy had uh, got himself into a reasonable position but uh, sent it high over the target. Stepping away from Ray Montgomery. Now played a minute of stoppage time here at Rugby Park. It's another mistake. Oh, that's a great goal. It's Tommy Coyne getting his hat trick. A mistake there by Raymond Gummery. And Tommy Coyne floated the ball over Colin Meldrum for a superb goal. Kilmarnock 2, Motherwell 4. And well might those Motherwell players celebrate. But uh, Kilmarnock really got themselves into awful trouble here. A mistake by Montgomery, and that was Tommy Coyne reacting immediately, flipping the ball over the goalkeeper for his hat trick. He celebrates as well he might. Tommy Coyne is back. Ray Montgomery, well, he'll be more than disappointed with himself. That really does push it beyond any reasonable doubt. We've played almost two minutes of stoppage time. The whistle sounds. Well, a dramatic afternoon here at Rugby Park. Three great points for Motherwell, Tommy Coyne and Alec McLeish. And really splendid goals by Coyne. Finishing off in real style in the first half after eight minutes. Philbin played a long ball to Ruddy. He moved towards the edge of the penalty area and teed it up for the striker. And then after 58 minutes, another superb goal. Coyne and uh, Billy Davis setting things up and Coyne tucking the ball beyond the goalkeeper and as you saw in stoppage time punching in a mistake and lofting the ball over Colin Meldrum the final score here at Rugby Park is Kilmarnock 2, Motherwell 4